My name is Haris Qureshi, and today I will show you a demo how you can automate invoice handling process using Oracle Integration Cloud and our AI document understanding service. Um, this demo and process has got three parts. Number one is ingest and automate, classify and extract, and store. In the first part for ingest and automate, we are using Oracle Integration Cloud uh, service, which comes with a built-in file server, SFTP. So all the invoices would be stored in the OIC file server. Uh, we have a scheduled integration, which runs periodically, looks for new invoices coming in, and then it processes them. It calls the document understanding service for classifying and extracting the key value data. Uh, for the data that gets classified correctly based on our parameters and uh, confidence score, we are going to store it in an ATP database. Uh, this can be any other uh, ERP system as well. Uh, and for the records that fail for any reason, we have a manual workflow, which has also been created using OIC process, uh, where uh, someone can actually uh, look at the data, do manual intervention, and fix uh, the data. For the classify and extract part, we are using the OCI AI document understanding service, which comes with many pre-trained models for such as for invoices, driver licenses, passports, receipts. In this case, we are using the pre-trained model for invoices. Uh, it gives us around 28 key value pairs on which it can extract the data, key values such as vendor name, vendor address, invoice total, and for the line items, some 10 key values it extracts, things like items, amount, quantity. It provides a bounding polygon, so it shows you from where in the document it's extracting this information and gives you a confidence score as well. Uh, when we call this service, it stores the results in OCI object storage, from where Oracle integration will pick up the results and then process. On the store part in this demo, we are using Oracle Autonomous Database Service where we are storing all this information. Uh, but in uh, uh, customer cases, uh, it can be any other uh, ERP system. For example, you process your invoices and you publish it to Fusion ERP system or eBusiness or SAP or any other, but in this demo, uh, we are showing uh, processing the data and storing it in autonomous database. Okay, let's look at the invoices first. Uh, in, in my case, I have got five invoices. So you can see from the format, they are all different. Uh, and I have a copy of, you know, PDF invoices and uh, in image format. So here you can see all different kinds of invoices. They are, you know, named simple one to five. In OCI, let's first look at our document understanding service. Uh, this is part of our analytics and AI services. Here I'm using the key value extraction and let's upload one of those uh, sample invoices in this using the front end, okay? In this case, you can see that is analyzing and it has analyzed this uh, invoice and is able to extract different key value pairs. Like for example, vendor name, it says it's happiest Valley Farms, invoice date, it is able to pick uh, itself. And at the bottom, you would see, uh, for example, due date. And if I show more, I can see the line items like quantity, product code uh, and details, right? This is actually stored in object storage uh, in a JSON format. So if I show you the JSON format, uh, what it is bringing, you can see it is able to classify that the detected document type is invoice. It brings the data in three different ways. So it is able to capture each and every word. So for example, it was happiest. So, you know, you can see it's picking up words. It's picking up lines. Uh, in the lines, you can remember the, you know, that it was Happiest Valley Farm. That was the uh, name of the vendor. But 
uh, importantly, it is bringing document fields as key values. So here I can see the vendor name is Happiest Valley Farms. It is of value type string. It is able to identify confidence level is, you know, pretty strong around 95%. And here is the polygons where it is giving me the information. Like in this case, if you see it, it draws uh, a polygon. It shows, okay, from where the data is coming. So we have those normalized uh, vertices and uh, depending on the data type. So in this case, because it was string, it's just giving me the um, text value. But if I go down and I notice the invoice state, for example, was of type date, it was able to identify. So it gives me the text value that is on the document and it gives me the field value. Here in this case, it's in milliseconds. Okay, so it is able to extract that. For example, the next invoice ID is against string. So this is what the classify service is doing. On the database front, I have a single table, which is uh, invoice documents, and I'm keeping five parameters from that. So I'm just for my demo, I'm showing invoice ID, invoice date, total vendor name, vendor address. So I'm extracting these five values and I will keep the document as well. And currently I don't have any data in here. Moving into Oracle integration cloud service, I am using the pre-built file server. So in this case, if I reconnect here, I have got uh, invoices folder uh, inbox where I've already dropped the five different uh, type of invoices. Uh, and once they get processed, they will move into processed. On the integration front, if I show you my integration, I've got three integrations for this. Uh, one is the scheduled integration. So let's look at this. Okay. So this integration runs at a particular schedule. It lists the files in my inbox folder and one by one, all the files it will process it will call the another integration, which will send it to the document understanding service. And once it's processed successfully, it moves the file from inbox to uh, processed. If I look at my second integration, where this integration is sending the data, that is the invoice key value analysis. In this case, I received the file I am calling the AI document understanding service uh, API, which stores the data into the object storage. So I'm getting the results from object storage. And then I'm checking whether all five uh, key values, like invoice uh, total, vendor name, vendor address uh, that I'm working on are, are available. If they are, then I'm saving it into the database. If they are not available, then I am calling a process. Let's look at that process now. So if I go into Oracle Integration Cloud, process application, here is my invoice understanding process. Okay, so invoice approval process. And here I have created a process where the data comes as part of a start event uh, for the invoice reviewer, they will review the invoice and they will submit it for approval. It goes to their manager for approval purpose. If everything is good, they will call another integration to send the data back to the database. So for example, I receive an invoice and it does not have a vendor address. Uh, this gives me uh, to enter the vendor address manually, submit it for approval. The approval will review if everything is good, they will approve it and the information will be sent to our backend system to store it in the database. So for this, finally, we have created a very simple integration. Uh, and let me just quickly show you that as well. And this is the integration for that. 
where I receive the information and I save it into the database. Okay, so let's run this. As I said, I have already copied five invoices in the inbox folder and let me run uh, the schedule integration. So while this is running at a particular schedule, we can, for the demo purpose, submit it now. Now the schedule integration has started and this will start picking up the invoices one by one. So if I go to monitoring, so I can see that this particular integration has uh, started running. And I can see that it has started picking up uh, invoices one by one. So for example, sample invoice one has been processed successfully. I can look into this integration, okay? And you know, the file came, the data from the object storage, it had all the information. So it has been saved in the database. It took around 25 seconds for it to process all the five, five invoices. And if I look at one of the integrations, for example, sample invoice three, where I know uh, for the demo purpose, the vendor address is not available. So it calls the AI service, gets the data, it's missing some information. So it has kick-started a process. For that, I have received an email that there is uh, a task available for me to review. So I've just put myself as a role to review. So I can see, okay, this is the invoice. These are, this came in. It was able to extract the invoice ID, invoice date, invoice total, the vendor name, but this invoice did not have any vendor address. So let me just add vendor address updated and submit it for approval. Okay, so if I go back to my task, because I have put myself as an approver as well, uh, in reality, there would be someone else who approves it. So I can see, okay, all the information is there. The vendor address has been updated. So if, you know, if it's correct, I'll approve it and I can see that this would call another integration. So if I go back to tracking, I can see, okay, invoice ID 10056, an integration just came in and that in data has been inserted into the database. So if I look at finally in my database, I can see that we processed uh, five invoices. So I've got five records over here, invoice ID, date, invoice total, vendor name, vendor address. Uh, four of them have not been reviewed. So they came in directly. And one of them, I just reviewed it, which was that 10056, where I added the value vendor address updated that has been uh, coming. So using Oracle Integration Cloud service, you can easily process your invoices uh, and you know uh, OCI AI document understanding service with our pre-trained models for invoice. Uh, it can help you extract the key value pairs. And if there is uh, a requirement, you can add manual intervention using OIC process. Thanks a lot.